So today what we're going to do is we're going to make a California super team. We're combining all MLB teams in California and seeing how they perform. Are they going to win a World Series? Are they going to go undefeated? Or are they going to do the special on my channel? Lose to the wild card team. Probably that, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, it's going to be a California super team. We got the Dodgers, the Padres, the Giants, the Athletics, and the Angels all combined onto one of the best players from each team. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys want to see some more teams like this, like a Chicago team, a New York team, we could do a Florida team if you really wanted to, or we could do divisions or regions. Let me know in the comment section down below what you'd like to see. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. That's the easiest way for me to know that you still enjoy MLB what ifs or rebuilds. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, you, if you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed, subscribe and make sure you turn on that bell notification icon so you guys are notified whenever a video does go live. Other than that, guys, let's hop into today's video and see how it goes. All right, so let's take a look at this super California team that we've created. I think it's, it's a pretty solid team and I think it's going to be really good. I just think it's going to be nutty. So obviously I tried to pick some of the best players. I wasn't necessarily going for rating. I was just like, who are the best players on this team currently? Obviously Kershaw is a player we had to take. Same with Ryu and Walker Buehler, three of the top pitchers out of all this team, uh, out of all these teams, you know, the Angels, the Padres, Giants, Athletics, and Dodgers. Madison Bumgarner had to represent the Giants somehow. It's really tough with the Giants. I look at the team and it's really tough to compete with, you know, the Dodgers or you know other players so it's it's pretty tough chris paddock is in there so i felt like i tried i tried to get a couple starters from every team but the athletics and angels they just don't have really good starting pitching so that's why i went with these guys when i look at the bullpen i went with jesus lazardo of the athletics he looked really good in the wild card game i think he's got some nasty stuff i think he's gonna be a really good future pitcher so i figured you know what let's just throw him into the team i know they had tanner roark who was decent throughout the year mike fires here and there was decent even homer bailey at one point was good for the athletics but let's go with halo Zeus lazardo because if i was building a california super team he definitely would be part of it blake trinan kirby yates hansel robles for the memes and also because he was one of the angels best bullpen arms if not the best bullpen arm this year will smith liam hendricks and then kenley jansen so i felt like we got a pretty solid bullpen here we got a really strong starting rotation I'm liking what we have. So when we move over to the lineup, this is when it gets nutty and this is where it gets insane. At shortstop, obviously there's Brandon Crawford, you have Tatis Jr., you have Corey Seager for the athletics. Even Marcus Semien is not a bad option, but we're gonna go with Andrelton Simmons. He's just too good. You can't pass up on him. Mike Trout in center field, hands down the best one. Ramon Laureano is an option. AJ Pollock, uh, Verdugo, those are options. Kevin Pillar was kind of at the bottom of the list. And then Manuel Margot, not the best either. So Mike Trout, hands down center fielder. Third base, it was between Matt Chapman and Manny Machado. Obviously, Matt Chapman is going to feature in this squad as well. But we went with Manny Machado for third. Right field, Cody Bellinger, I felt like, was the easiest pick. MVP candidate. He was the guy to go with. Um, Shohei was more of a DH option for me. But you know what? We're going to throw him in the team anyways. I feel like he's the man to do it. And then I might even throw Corey Seager there. But Shohei, I was thinking more DH. But left field, I had um, Jack Peterson. I felt like he was one of the better outfielders as well. But we could throw Shohei out there. Second base was supposed to be Max Muncy. But we can play Tatis Jr. there. When you think of second base, I just... There really weren't too many good players that I would have thrown in. Luis Rios maybe for the future. But right now, I think Tatis can fit that spot. First base, I actually went Matt Olson. We could have gone Max Muncy as well. Maybe even Cody Bellinger because he was playing there for a couple games. But I felt like Matt Chapman could definitely play that position. And then even Max Muncy if we need to. Uh, or Matt Olson. DH, we could use anybody really. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll throw in Corey Seager just because. And then catcher, I felt like Buster Posey was the best catcher to take. We have Will Smith as a backup. But um, I felt like this was really the super team that we could have gone with. Like this team is really good. If I'm building a team and I throw this lineup up... I'm psyched. I'm pumped. We're winning championships. So this is the team we're going to go with. I want you guys to tell me who you would have selected that was different. Or did I miss somebody? Or do you agree with it? Just tell me. In the comment section, let me know who is your California super team. You know, you guys can spell it out. Shortstop, center, right, left, all the positions. Who would have been your ace and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to do one season, maybe even two, depending on how the first one goes. You know, I do like to lose to the wildcard team, so that's probably going to happen. And then if that happens, we can do a season two. But let's see how the first season goes. And I'll see you guys at the end of it. As expected, this team's really, really good like really good so you guys can see 110 and 52 not too off not too far off the mlb record for most wins in a season and we're going to be taking on the winner of the wild card which we all know what that means but our bogey teams this year yankees and the astros we literally could just we just couldn't beat them we we we, we were lucky to get like one game out of the series but besides that it was it was a tough one so let's take a look at the division we are 110 and 52 like i mentioned we won it by 15 games and we are easily the first team in baseball first in defense pitching power second in contact and 13th in speed as a team we had a 277 average a 502 slugging 354 on base percentage and a 348 era which is pretty solid we didn't win a single award which is interesting uh, we'll take a look at our like team rankings for everything so we were second for batting average by one point. Ooh, um, runs we had the most, hits we had the second by five, doubles we had the most, triples we had the second by, we got second by one. We had the most home runs, we had the most runs batted in, and then strikeouts we were up there. I mean, we, we really just were the super team, like we really were. So let's take a look at league leaders, Cody Bellinger, Mike Trout, just unreal and then pitching ryu jensen jansen uh <laughs> jensen uh kershaw were lights out as well so that's good to see but we didn't win any awards which i found really interesting let's take a look at who won him jd martinez and trevor bauer okay and then obviously he's gonna win cy young and carlos carrasco won cy young there and then reliever of the year that's interesting that's interesting indeed. So let's take a look at how everything went. Kershaw, 254 and a 103 whip, 220 strikeouts, 20 and 7 on the year. Okay. 321, 110, 239 strikeouts, 18 and 6. Bumgarner was 278, 104. Like, these are incredible stat lines. What did Carrasco have again? 20 and 6 or 20 and 8, which is impressive. The ERA is a little bit higher. The whip's a little bit higher. I don't know. I think maybe one of our pitchers could have uh, definitely, like 20 and seven. That's, I don't know how Kershaw didn't win Cy Young there. Even 20 and six. I think we got, I think we got gypped on an award. Walker Bueller didn't have a terrible season either. Chris Paddock was easily our worst pitcher and that's still, as a five starter, I'll take that. Jesus Lazardo definitely struggled as expected, but you know what? He's only gonna get better. He's definitely a pitcher I'd want in my, in my team. Trinan, solid. Yates, solid. Hansel Robles, unfortunately, probably didn't do too well. He probably pointed to the sky a little bit too much this season, but we all know. Um, Will Smith struggled. Yikes. Liam Hendricks and then Kenley Jansen was really solid. So Le Will Smith struggled a bit. Maybe we move him out of this spot. Maybe we just maybe we just rock with that. Um, go like that. So maybe we do, maybe we do that. Maybe we go like that for the postseason. Let's take a look at our, our bench. 209. 253 234 and then 246 so it was okay obviously if they started more they definitely would probably be a little bit happy happier morale's probably hurting them a bit Anderson simmons is our leadoff guys 263 mike trout had 39 home runs 111 rbis a 324 average and 55 doubles Whew, 1078 ops casually Manny Machado had himself a year as well. 42 home runs, 122 RBIs. Cody Bellinger, 46 home runs, 130 RBIs, 41 doubles. And a 302 average, 1030 OPS. Shohei, okay, 29 doubles, 23 home runs. Okay, respectable. Fernando Tatis Jr., 17 home runs, 27 or 271 average. Not too bad. 33 doubles as well. Matt Chapman hit 280 with 20 home runs and 35 doubles. Corey Seager is always a beast in franchise. 26 doubles, 32 home runs, 87 RBIs, and a 311 average. And then Buster Posey, respectable numbers. I'll definitely take that out of Buster Posey. That was solid. So we have the super team. We have the postseason in our grasp. We're taking on the Red Sox. How are we going to do? 
We're gonna advance. Yes, we're taking on the Indians. Chris Paddock is pitching. Sorry, bud, you're not. Um, just, just can't do it. Um, we're gonna go like that, obviously. And then Kershaw is gonna take game one against Carlos Carrasco, the guy who got the Cy Young. And we're gonna lose eight to four. And then we're gonna lose two to one. Okay, we get a win there. We get a win there. All right. And we're back in it. We're back in it. So we're taking on the Braves in the World Series. Who's pitching? Ryu. How many days rest did we have? We had a few. So let's get let's get our rotation back to how it should be. Um, is anybody like really struggling? Paddock a little bit, but everybody's kind of getting back to their groove. Kershaw's struggling a bit, but I think we should be okay. Game one, we lose three to four. Yikes. And then we win five to three, six to two. We lose, we win. So if we win this game, it is our title. Let's hop into it. We are the home team, Angel Stadium, obviously. Kershaw's gotta be on the mound and uh, let's hop into it. All right, here we go. So any changes to this lineup? No, it's actually a pretty standard lineup. Okay, Acuna goes deep, so that's not a good start for us. We're going against Max Fried, or is it Freed? I think it's Fried, but uh, let's see how this goes. We get a single, we get one back thanks to Matt Chapman, thank God. And then double play gets us out of the inning. Simmons, that's good. Trout, anybody, anybody want to get a hit for us? All right, that's good. Tatis, Olsen, Chapman, somebody. Like, we got to we gotta get hits. We can't just sit here and do absolutely nothing. Double plays don't help us. Acuna is going to be my Achilles heel. I already know it. Machado gets on. That's good. Base is loaded for Tatis. He flies out. He strikes out. We get two runs thanks to Matt Chapman. I'm pretty sure he was the reason we scored last time. So that's a good start. Kershaw, you allowed two runs. I need you to calm down. And I need you to win us this game. We get another run thanks to Mike Trout. I'll take that for sure. Come on, Tatis. Come on. I needed you there. That was probably his last inning. I have a feeling that was that was it. We're going to hop into the last inning. We're going to make a pitching change. We're going to bring in our closer, Kenley Jansen. And we're going to we're gonna do this. Hold on. It's the ninth inning, right? It is. Let's hop into it. All right. Ozzy Albies is having himself a World Series hitting 319. So just to be safe, I'm going to warm up Will Smith and then I'm going to get Kirby Yates going and we're going to see how this goes against Ozzy Albies and the Braves. We got a two run lead, but uh, I don't know. I don't I don't feel too safe. You know, I just don't. I just feel like we're in a bit of a bit of a tough spot here. Ooh, that was a lucky that was a lucky uh, pitch right there that he went after. Um. Let's go back up top with the fastball. Ooh, luckily, he wasn't expecting that. Or, like, luckily, he was expecting it, and it was a little bit too anxious for it. And we've got a 2-2 count. Maybe a low and away cutter? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Tatis should make the play easily. And that's the first out. That's a good start. I like that. Josh Donaldson. 328 during the World Series, having himself a postseason. Oh, that was almost really bad. Hanging slider. No, 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 no. Just missed it. All right, let's go back to the slider. Doesn't chase that either. Okay. Maybe a up and away cutter or up and in cutter. Just fouls it off. So still 2 2. I think this is what the count was for Ozzy as well. Now it's going to be full. And who's on deck? Tyler Flowers. Hmm. Cutter up in the zone. Get some swinging. And we're down to one more out. Can we do it? Tyler Flowers. You don't really scare me. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna attack you. Really just I'm just gonna go after you as much as possible. So let's just high heat. He pops it up. And that should do it. That should be the World Series. For the Angels Angels, also known as Los Angeles Angels. So that is the California super team. We've actually created a super team. And for once, it actually went according to plan. We won the World Series. And it, it, it this team is insane. Like, you think about it. Bellinger and right. Trout in center. You got Otani or Jack Peterson in left. You definitely have some other options. You could have gone with Hunter Renfro, Will Myers. At third base, you got Chapman and Machado. Second base, you got Tatis or Max Muncy. Shortstop, you got Seager, Tatis, 
Simmons, you could have gone Semyon or Crawford, catcher, Posey. I mean, this team is stacked. Even the pitching is nutty. So this is a crazy, this was a cool concept. I know other people have done it. I know there have people that have done it in Madden and also I'm pretty sure NBA have done it as well. So it's not my idea, um, but I thought it would be kind of cool to do it in MLB. I don't think anybody's done a super team like this in MLB based on a state, a state, a stat, a state or anything like that. So I thought it'd be a little fun to try it out. Again, guys, if you guys want to see a division or anything like that, let me know what you would like to see in the comment section down below. I'll let you guys see the celebration here of us holding up this World Series title, the trophy. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And in the comment section, let me know what you'd like to see for the next video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.